At ESMO 2020, we've presented the results of the CCTG PA7 clinical trial. This is a phase two prospective randomized clinical trial assessing the uh, efficacy of gemcitabine napaclitaxel plus dual immune checkpoint inhibitor therapy with dravalumab and trimlimumab versus the standard treatment arm of gemcitabine and napaclitaxel. This was a two to one randomized clinical trial, uh, prospective, uh, open across Canada. 119 patients were randomized to the uh, combination arm of gemcitabine, napaclitaxel, dravalumab, and trimlimumab. 61 patients were randomized to the standard treatment arm of gemcitabine and napaclitaxel. In terms of the patient characteristics, they were well balanced between the arms. Majority of patients were ECOG performance status one. Just over 20% in both arms were ECOG performance status zero. The efficacy re results of this trial unfortunately show no significant benefit from the combination arm versus the standard arm. Median overall survival in the combination arm was 9.8 months versus 8.8 months in the standard arm. Uh, there was not a significant difference uh, statistically between uh, overall survival. This was also true for progression-free survival and response rate where there was no significant difference between the arms. In terms of adverse events, uh, there was no significant difference in grade three or greater adverse events between the arms. And uh, in terms of lab abnormalities, there was no significant differences between the arms other than a slight elevation in increased uh, lymphocytes in the treatment in the experimental arm versus the standard arm. Uh, so in summary, this uh, trial demonstrated that in all comers, the addition of dravalumab and trimlimab to gemcitabine and napaclitaxel did not result in increased efficacy. Uh, we have uh, collected tissue and blood samples from all patients and have a number of correlative studies ongoing to assess potential predictive biomarkers in the study.